when this came into my, I heard about this program. It was like water in a desert. Water Walkers is a boys and girls club. It's um, was founded about a year ago. Um, basically, for the children in this neighborhood. That this is where my business is. And these are children that I come encounter every day. Almost. So, um, I was saying earlier, a year ago, or even before a year ago, before I even act on doing something about, you know, it was, it was so much of a challenge I thought at the time. But after um, I had gone up and speak with the parents about the children being a nuisance in the area, my best place of business, harassing, it was turning into harassment, you know, because they knew it irritated me, ringing my doorbell, scratching on the walls, um, throwing garbage all over the place. Um, it was becoming very frustrating. And I didn't have any answer to it. So I went into the neighborhood trying to talk to the parents. I went to the schools telling them that you know these children can you do something to curb this. And as soon as and you know I would recognize them in the alleys and I would say, You're the one, come here. And they would come and you know I started to talk to them and they just start to hug me and I hug them back and it turned into something else, you know? And so I decided to Maybe I can get through to them if I have them under one roof. So I started to invite them to my place of business on Sunday for Sunday school. And they came. Um, one thing to lead to the next, it started to get too many kids to hold under my in my business. So I seeked out a building, which is this building, Water Walkers, which is right immediately in front of my place of business. And um, it just took off from there. I did. Day to day, it um, it took care of itself. You know, I I, the, I plan and develop the curriculum from day to day, um, trying to meet the needs and issues that arise dealing with these children. Um, Water walkers came to life, and it's been a year now. They've been coming every day. I open from Monday to Sunday. Monday to Sunday during school hours is. Um, after school work, I try to help them with their homework. And this is where I found a major problem. A lot of them were not able to read and write. So it was really difficult trying to help them because you cannot understand anything they wrote. They can't read it back to you. And I was just so saddened by this. Uh, I took it upon myself to go seeking uh, help for them. You know, I went out to different schools, some of the, um, the schools in the a good, you know, better neighborhood, so to speak. And um, the, the principal told me that they cover like four different reading books per year, in one year, while these children were reading one. So that was, you know, one of the things I thought that, okay, I'm going to start impl implement more reading here. Um, I went to the Ministry of Education, um, I got some help from them, and uh, then I heard about the store Belize having this, um, this literacy program that they're offering to different communities. Um, I called Marie Munez and um, she, they came, they came the, next, the very next day. Um, they viewed the place and they thought it was bonafide institution that is they have I have the children already the problem had been identified and um, they um, asked me to send in an application which I did and I prayed and fortunately they elected this institution there was a process it's a lengthy process that we went through because then there was um, training to the three day full day of training um, then there was a waiting period for the installation and they we had to have the room meet certain criteria certain standards before they would allow their computers in here which we met you know we had to have proper ventilation which is we had got an AC because there's no windows in here the outlets we had to have sufficient you know, supply electricity supply and it had to be 
in an area, a quiet area. So we met that need and um, now last week they came with the license and the computers and um, Marie Munoz, she installed them and we're up and running as of yesterday. So I am forever, will ever be forever grateful to Restore Belize for coming to my rescue in this awesome way because this is the very component that was missing from this institution. You know, and it's meeting the needs because I believe that reading, learning to read is is fundamental. You know, it, it's the, the foundation of um, succeeding in school and in life. And without that, you know, it's a losing battle. So giving them this gift is it just means a lot to me because these are my children now. They're like my own.